Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstoday.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do the banking and financial awareness for the first 15-16 days of uh, September 2024. So I'll be doing another session within the next 3-4 days. So stay updated. Okay. So students, uh, we have the MP Apex Bank 2024 course on bankexamstoday.com and we are covering all the streams, okay, credit, HR, Noodle, or every stream we are covering. So link to join the course is available in the description. So stay updated. Let's move on to the first question. See, these some of these questions may look uh, boring for you, but uh, students, you're going to see these kind of questions in your exam. As a questions paper may aayenge. So whatever is there in the news, you'll see the same questions in your exam in the IBPSPO, IBPS RRB scale 2, in MP Apex, similar se questions aate hain. So what is the stake of uh, the Singapore airline is going to take up 25, I guess, 0.1% uh, stake in the Air India Vistara combined entity. In the merger of Air India and the Vistara. And the Singapore Airline is going to take up 25.1% stake. Okay. So, what is the maximum uh, returned income limit for the taxpayer to be eligible to apply under the EDRS? E Dispute Resolution Scheme. Uh, students, if you are getting any income tax case now for the smaller cases, any smaller cases where the annual income uh, is less than 50 lakhs, then you can take up the EDRS scheme. Uh, you can, you know, uh, raise your disputes. You can answer your disputes online only. Sorry, dispute on online answer. Ho no need to visit the income tax office E dispute resolution scheme. So, 50 lakh tak hai and the value of the dispute is up to 10 lakh rupees. Jo uh, correction hai, wo 10 lakh se kam hai. Uh, aapne tax diya hai 5 lakh rupay, wo demand kar rahe hai 20 lakh. To ye apply nahi hooga, 10 lakh rupay tak ka correction hai. Thik hai. 10 lakh se kam ki demand hai. In that case, aap EDRS use kar sakte ho, E dispute resolution scheme. And this question is very important, I would say, for your exams. Thik hai, isko yaad rakhe. E dispute resolution scheme uh, income tax ke liye hai very important. 10 lakh rupay tak ki agar uh, variation hai to ye useful hai rahega. SEBI has raised the market wide position limit for a stock to qualify for FNO segment. What is the new uh, MWPL market wide position limit? That is 1500 crore is the market wide position limit. Okay. So what has replaced the concept no frills accounts according to the RBA's recent review? BSBD accounts, basic saving bank deposit account has uh, replaced the no, no frills accounts. Okay, so that's the correct answer. What is the current limit for a foreign currency remittance under the liberalized remittance scheme? Kitana limit hai? Uh, lakh dollar. 2.5 lakh dollars is the limit under the LRS scheme. So that is the correct answer. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, under the new IRDI circular, what is the standard mode of pursuing insurance policies? So what is the standard mode of issuing? Uh, it is online, uh, digitally or electronically, right? That's a new uh, mode of issuing insurance policies electronically they need physically if somebody is demanding that then you should do it okay what is the total number of Navratan central public sector enterprises 25 hogi hai. there are new Navratan uh, you know uh, public sector enterprises limits bad jati hai 1500 crore rupi project kar sakte hai without uh, approval from the central government Kuch ek, extra uh, powers mil jati hai si organizations ko which of the following changes has been made uh, has been introduced by the department of economic affairs effective from 1st of october to national saving schemes national small saving accounts so irregular nss accounts will be regularized which of the following technologies is being utilized in the digital agriculture mission to enhance agricultural practices Artificial intelligence and big data has been used. Kuch schemes bhi hai. Primary purpose of Agri Sure Fund. This is the new scheme. So it is uh, to support startups and innovative ideas aimed at boosting agriculture sectors. For that, Agri Sure Fund has been introduced. So that is kind of important question. 
what is the gross state domestic product of tamil nadu it's 15.7 lakh crore so telangana ka sabse zyada jo gdp state level pe bad raha hai that is why it's in the news who chaired the 31st meeting of financial stability and development council held on 5th of september uh, shakti kanta das our rbi governor what is the theme of annual fibac 2024 conference the theme is banking for a viksit bharat now that is sort of important fibac conference ka banking for viksit bharat so it focuses on future of indian banking industry which institution is collaborating with indian institute of uh, institute of management cozy code uh, laboratory for uh, innovation venturing and entrepreneurship to support startups and conduct joint research reserve bank innovation hub what is the primary objective of the framework convention on ai signed by uk us eu on 5th of september 2024 to ensure safe and ethical development and use of ai technologies what is the expected current deficit as a percentage of gdp in the second quarter of 2025 as per indra uh, india rating and research it is 1% current account deficit please remember it is 1% and it is by indra not by any uh, not by rbi or the government of india unhone nahi diya ye which cities are awarded in category 1 of population over 10 lakhs under swachh vayu sarvekshan award 2024 सूरत जबलपुर एंड आगरा आगरा में तो काफ़ी पोल्यूशन है वैसे विच कंपनी बिकेम द फर्स्ट एन बी एफ सी टू इंटीग्रेट ई के वाई सी सेतु सिस्टम इट्स एच डी बी फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज वट इज द रैंक ऑफ इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फॉरन ट्रेड इन लिंकड इन ग्लोबल एम बी ए रैंकिंग इट इज फिफ्टी फर्स्ट दैट्स अ रैंक which major indian bank has become the first to join partnership for carbon accounting financials as a signatory its union bank of india uh, which of the following families are now eligible for pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin under the relax criteria families earning up to 15000 rupees a month now they are eligible who co-hosted the second asia pacific ministerial conference on civil aviation that is ministry of civil aviation government of india and icao how much funding is allocated for subsidies and demand incentives under pm electric drive revolution in innovative vehicle enhancement scheme it is 3679 crore that is the funding सो पी एम ई ड्राइव का फंडिंग कितना है दैट इज थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन दैट इज सॉर्ट ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट सो वेन आई से इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट इट्स नॉट जस्ट दिस नंबर नॉट एग्जैक्टली दिस क्वेश्चन वुड बी आज इन द एग्जाम मे बी वॉट इज पी एम ई ड्राइव स्कीम वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ पी एम ई ड्राइव स्कीम तो फुल फॉर्म इज मैंशन पर्पज इज मैंशन तो थोड़ा सा पढ़ भी लें What is the new deal value थ्रेश होल्ड फॉर मर्जर्स एंड एक्विजिशन अंडर द कंपटिशन अमेंडमेंट एक्ट Uh, it's two thousand crore. Uh, okay, under the Companies Act, uh, Competition Amendment Act, twenty twenty three. In GCI twenty twenty four, what uh, was India's overall rank in terms of cyber security commitment? It is ninety. Uh, it's ninety eight point four nine. Uh, which award uh, did? NTPC Talchar Kaniha receive in 2024 for its efforts in energy management and sustainability energy management insights award uh, the fourth edition of global bio india 2024 was organized by which of the following entities is dbt and biirc department of biotechnology and biotechnology industry research assistance council small saving schemes are particularly important for financing uh, government expenditures okay the money from the small saving scheme is used for the government expenditures what was the theme of international conference on green hydrogen accelerating green hydrogen from vision to value so what is the total value of project involving installation of an electric arc uh, arc funnel uh, arc furnace at tata steel port talbot steel works in wales it's 1.25 billion वैसे not important how much has government allocated for pm aasha scheme 
it's 35000 crore it has been allocated 35000 for for pm asha that is important so which company was selected by lic to develop next gen digital insurance platform in forces important which theme of swachhta hi seva campaign what is the theme uh, subhav swachhta sanskar swachhta okay good what is the minimum annual contribution required in the nps vatsalya scheme it's 1000 rupees is the minimum investment in the nps vatsalya scheme very important so i hope you like the today's session and if you like the today's session we are sharing really important classes for mp apex bank 2024 exam link to join the course is available in the description please check it a list of our successful students all these students who took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams and i'm really really happy for them and you can be one of them in the future and yes you will be one of them in the future for sure so that's all for today students thank you and have a very very nice day bye bye and yes if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts on my whatsapp This is my WhatsApp number nine zero six seven two zero one triple zero. This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and I'm going to answer your doubts. And that's all for today's students. Thank you, and have a very nice day. Bye bye.